Welcome back, everybody. Today we'll be talking either skill issue or OP. Uh, the F14A was the easiest, easiest grind into the F14B I've ever had. I think I'm up to like 13 aces in it, and just tons of double and triple kills with it. And uh, I've been grinding this thing since early this morning. I've got a good bit unlocked on it. Still not quite enough, but I got a decent bit unlocked on it. But what I want to talk about is I was trying to go to sleep, so I popped on some videos of the F14B. And I was going through the comments, <clears throat> and everybody's like, nerf, nerf, nerf. Like, it's not that hard. It seems to be more of a skill issue. Now, the biggest thing I've noticed is, let's see here, this last match I played. I only got two kills, but I got it with the uh, 9Ls. Yeah, and but the match before that, I managed to kill two people with the 54s. And if you'll notice what they are, they're premiums. The Mirage, F4S, the premium 11.3 area is so heavy that even things at 12.0 are getting dragged down. And I mean consistently. And I've played a chunk of games in this thing, and I've maybe had three up tiers, if that. And Amram's are pretty easy to defeat when you're another common. But, I digress. Craziest thing last night, I had just gotten, I think it was my third or fourth game in the F14B. In no lie, the teammate at 14 I took a screenshot of it. No, I'll eventually have to post it somewhere. Uh, maybe at the beginning of this video, I'll post it. Uh, the guy got an ace three minutes into the game because people were flying straight. At first, I saw the, the kills going. I was like, oh, he's got three. He's got four. Holy crap, he got five. And then I swooped down, got my two kills, and the game was pretty much over at that point. That was like a six-minute game, if that. And it kind of goes back to the question of, okay, is it the missiles, is it the jet, or is it the player skill? And I'm going to have to go with the latter in player skill because I played way too many games in the F14A to get pretty consistent hits with the uh, the Phoenixes. Now we're going to actually hop to the battle line, Yavern. I don't get it. And it's not just the 11-3 players. It's the 12.0 players. I got a triple kill in F16s. Because they flew straight. And their RWRs are sophisticated enough to say, hey, you've been launched at. You know, here's a warning. You're killing 12-3 F-16s. Like the uh, Brock and the Nets and stuff like that. And you're like, how do these people not know the missile is coming? This is a pretty decent match to uh, get your Phoenixes off. <clears throat> The big thing about the Phoenixes is you've got to be about Mach 1.1. You can fire it under that, which you usually end up doing a little over Mach, and still doing relatively well. Air start. Love the engines on this thing after playing the F-14A. Just feels so much better. But yeah, I just, I don't get it. The 11.3, some of them, yeah, okay, I got a triple kill in J-35's game of a match. Am I proud of it? Yes, I still am. But look at this. That's four premiums right there. That's what's dragging everybody down. The majority of these are premium. Now, this is about the same issue that 10.0 ground has. Everything around the 10.0 area is getting sucked way down. Granted, right now, it's more 11.3 because premium sells, etc. Oh, here's somebody. If you look at that little stick, that's the direction they're flying. So it's pretty much heading almost straight towards me. So we'll get our speed up a little bit, and once we're within about 50 kilometers, because we're higher up, we'll launch. And that'll be the death of that guy. Is there anything else around there I can see? Just those three? We know we're going to launch all six missiles of these guys. <laughs> but yeah, the 11 is so heavy, it's dragging down things that really shouldn't be seen. 11 threes and even 11 O's. This is a, a far shot in the 40s, but... You know, why not? Now, it doesn't look like these guys are reacting to this. Can I get back to the main guy again? Is that another person behind them up there? We're just gonna throw all these out and hope for a kill. One guy's diving, as he should. Will it save him? I don't know. Actually, that could be another AIM-54, thinking about it. 
I mean, it just launched a bunch of missiles at AIM-54s. F-14B. Not paying attention to his RWR and gets smacked for it. <sighs> Double kill right off the bat against F-14s. Now the A, I can understand it doesn't really have an RWR. The F-14B should have. Look, the guys on the ground, our teams even get smacked by them. Like, why? <laughs> I just don't get it. Those guys up top knew those missiles were incoming. They could see the trails. That's... I just don't get it. And this is consistent, guys. This isn't like... Oh, this is a one-off thing. No, this is every game. Um, that is my kill. And nobody better take that. So, technically, I knocked out three F-14s at the start. The guy actually hit a, uh, got hit by an AIM-54 earlier. I was gonna secure the kill. Didn't mean to actually lock him, but it's whatevs. So, either those guys either paid their way into their F-14s, or they grinded through it and were just... did not care about what they seen head up their direction. That was a magic too. That could have been bad. Oh, he got around, got me. No, somebody else in the magic too. Could have been the same guy. It was a mirage of sorts. But yeah, Grand our team got derped on. But look at this. Let me count these. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven premiums. I've been in matches where I've been the only F-14 and literally was at four S's. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I think it's a skill issue if you're dying to these things. Granted, it's annoying to be killed by them. But just honestly look up being in the matches and when you see the spider web of trails, just make a left hand turn or right hand turn. If you're already traveling slightly left, like most groups do when you take off, make a much harder left-hand turn for about five, six seconds. That's honestly all you got to do. Then turn back in. And that should divert the missile enough to lose enough speed that it's not going to hit you. And pull yourself off the ground just a little bit. Even the changes to multipathing, once it's lost the speed, it's not going to keep up with you. I mean, that was a triple kill for... <laughs> For almost nothing, you know. Uh, we're actually going to wait. Because I think all three of those kills were... Were the F-14s. <laughs> Speaking of F-14s, I'm going to get a skin here eventually. Yeah, that looks cool. It comes with the free shark mouth. Now the gradient looks pretty cool too. That does look pretty sexy. Not going to lie. I actually thought the uh, Grim Reapers... Had a skull here and a reaper there, but it looks like it's just uh, the Grim Reapers on each side, so. But yeah, no, I, I don't understand it. And those other two F-14s, they had to have seen the missile trails. So even if other F-14 players are so locked into just driving straight, which I've been guilty of it too in the F-14A, just I gotta make sure my missiles get in within 16 kilometers before I turn off. So I don't know. Really couldn't tell you. How long is that match going to last? Come on now. Uh, let's see here. Just going through some of the older... Look, I mean, triple kills, triple kills, triple kills, double kills. That's single kills. No kills, but we won. Uh, it's just... It's too consistent. I mean... Look at that. <laughs> it's way too consistent. But it's because the players are playing in a consistent pattern. Go forward, ignore your RWR, things like that. That's why I want to see, start reading comments through, I watch a ton of F14 videos. I get hyper fixated on things, I've said this before. 
And if I want it, I will lose tons of sleep over it. And that I did. I slept very little this weekend. Very little. But I got two jets grinded out, then had to turn around and grind up the rest of the SL needed for them. And this is literally just from playing matches and derping around. So I'm about to have enough. Oh, wrong click. I'm about to have enough SL to make an expert crew on this. Three F-14s. The two earlies, okay, yeah, I can understand. They don't have the proper RWR, but they had to have seen the missile trails. And they were up at altitude with us. So, there's that. And it looks like, okay, one of them was an allies target. But I'm going to claim that kill. I will claim it. Yeah, one of those F-14s, uh... Actually, F-14B, it was burning that whole time it was spinning. <laughs> it was giving me extra SL and stuff. But that's it, guys. Uh, don't fly straight around the 11.0 area. I mean, take a turn here or there. Worst case scenario, you burn a few seconds to make a turn and may not get to your base or something, but that's that's all I can think. Uh, yeah. So I really think it's going to be a skill issue versus OP issue. Because I don't... Yeah, these things will chase you, but they're losing speed the entire time. And once you get out of that initial cone of attack... Yeah, they're not going to hit. There's plenty of games on the shorter maps where you're launching at 20 kilometers, and they're just too slow to get anywhere before they get to you. But that's my two cents on it. Like I said, and actually I think they're going to be improving the M54s in the future. Maybe they'll give them their actual G limits, which would be wild. So I don't know, the multipathing change has helped them, but I don't think it's helped them that much. It just means that if you're just ground hugging, that they're not going to automatically miss. That now you've got to play a little bit smarter. You've got to take a different path. Maybe climb and then turn. That's probably one of the easiest ways to defeat these missiles. Go high. Yeah, they got missiles heading at you, but take a left-hand turn. Even without chaff, they're probably going to miss you with how slow they are. And just keep burning to the side. And just make a C-shape once you get around that corner and then you're good to go. No, I don't necessarily do that with the 120s. You need to chaff a little bit and just make a kind of a wide C shape for the 120s. That's been my, my go-to so far for defeating them. All right, guys. Till next time. Y'all have a good one.